Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your July 2019 future love reading. I am happy to let you guys know that you can now find me on Instagram and Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111, and I will leave those links down below in the description box, okay? Cancer, this is for you. What is going on with your future love? Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so this could be a situation you're dealing with right now, um, or this could be a situation you're going to be dealing with, you know, a few months down the line. So let's see what's going on with your future love. This is for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer's future love? What is going on with Cancer's future love? Ooh, we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So they're getting impatient. Okay, they're having a hard time going with the flow, right? And I don't think the two of you are 100% um, together yet because they're trying to call you in. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So this card has been popping out. Everybody is trying to um, create a new beginning here. Calling in your soulmate. This very strong law of attraction card. Very strong manifestation card. They're praying about it. They're doing their affirmations. They're visualizing the two of you together. And they are getting impatient here. Because it's not happening fast enough for them. Okay. They're having a hard time going with the flow of this situation. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. A, a couple different signs got that card right there. So that's very interesting. I for completely forget who got it. Maybe, maybe Gemini. Maybe Gemini, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure. All right, Cancer. This is for you. Future love reading for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer's future love? If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Cancer for July 2019. What is going on here with Cancer's future love? What is going on with Cancer's future love? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah, there's not a lot of communication right now between the two of you. We're on a break. I'm seeing two different energies here, and I'm seeing a lot of threes. All right. So, too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks in the kitchen right now, Cancer. There is. Um... They're waiting, they're waiting for you to end something here, okay, with someone. Now, this isn't going to be for everybody because every cancer is not in a third-party situation, but I am seeing that very strong here. So, they're trying to call you in, and they're getting very impatient. All right, so let me move out of the way here so you guys can see what's on the table, and I'm going to hold them up anyway. All right, so four of swords, right? This is air, energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So the two of you aren't talking right now, and that's why they're trying to call you in, and they're getting very impatient. So you're kind of on a break, kind of on a little break, because there's another person involved in this equation. Four of swords. I am going to um, do a lot of thinking and contemplating on what, how, on what we're going to do here. So... We're on a break. Okay. 
So let's see. I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future. Um, if their sign pops up, then all the better. Keep in mind, of course, time is fluid and the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Let's see what's behind this. Yeah, they want to talk to you with this page of pentacles, right? That's earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they do want to reach out to you. Um, very, this is very slow opportunity, slow communication, but sincere. They're getting very impatient with the slowness of the process. They want to put work in now. They want you to be completely and totally focused on them. You see how um, that person's looking at that one pinnacle and all these other pinnacles are just kind of just like, well, whatever. They're, they want you to be completely focused on them, on their pinnacle. They want you to focus on their pinnacle, okay? Just saying. They feel a soulmate um, connection to you. Where there's three, they, they want, they want um, only the two of you. They want it to be balanced here, okay? Right now, it's not balanced. Two of Cups, that's water energy. So they do feel that soulmate energy and... We have soulmate calling in your soulmate. So they think you are their soulmate. And here, they want you to give them a chance here. Give them a chance, right? They're calling you in. And here, with this pinnacle here, that's that's the chance, right? They just want you to open the door. Open it just to, just to crack. Because right now, they're willing to do anything to put the effort in, to make it work, to make it happen. Um, but they they just want you to focus on them. If there's anybody else involved, they, they don't want that. They just want it to be you and them. Just just you and them. And that's it. Right now, there's too many. There's too many here. And the reason I say this, they, they do want to reunite with you, but there is somebody else in the equation at this point because I've got two different energies here. And then I've got a three of swords here and combined all that together. And this is screaming to me third party situation. Now, again, this is not going to be for everybody because every cancer is not in a third party situation. So next week, you know, the reading can resonate with you. But right now, this is going to be resonating with whoever needs to hear it. Okay, so three of and we'll say prayers for this individual or individuals. Three of Cups, this is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, yes, they do want to reunite with you because the two of you are not together yet. So there's somebody standing in between you, okay? There's somebody standing in between you. So, it's like here and here, and then there's somebody standing in between. That's how they are seeing the situation, right? How they feel about you, we've got this King of Cups energy. So... I feel like this person has grown emotionally through this whole situation. Yes, they, they're having a hard time going with the flow, but this is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. They have a lot of love for you. The King of Cups has a lot of love to give, but they don't necessarily share it right off the bat because they, are, they have emotionally matured. And I think um, this person has emotionally matured through this process, Cancer, okay? So, um, they see you as somebody, number one, that's very attractive, very intuitive, very charming, all those good things. But I feel like they're, they're not really, maybe they have told you how they feel, but right now they're just, they're being a little bit reserved. They're being a little bit quiet about everything, but the love is strong and the love is there for you. The challenges is this person right here, this King of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. This is just a very passionate individual, male or female, that is standing in the way of this situation, at least in this person's view, okay? This is an individual that is very ambitious, very outgoing, goes after what they want, right? Very passionate individual. So it's like the way that they're seeing this is you are you are involved in a passionate 
relationship right now and what they want to offer you is love okay and this passionate individual is standing in the way of the two of you being eye to eye to each other the two of you having a union the two of you being together what action will they take the three of swords so uh, they may call you up and say you know what you're going to have to make a decision here okay <clears throat> they may have to accept the fact that you are with someone else at this point okay there's a lot of sadness a lot of hurt here um, they're very hurt that you are with someone else right now. So I think maybe they're just going to kind of wait and see what happens. They're very impatient. They're having a hard time going with the flow with this. They're seeing the relationship that you're, you, you are in now, to be quite blunt, as a sex-based relationship. There's no substance to it. Um, and with them, they, they feel like there's love. They have love for you, okay? They feel like this other person is just going to be, you know, it's just, um, I don't really want to say that. It's just, um, just sex-based, okay? We'll keep it at that. So they may have to set back and just kind of wait and see what happens here. Okay, because they do not like the fact that you're with somebody else. They do not. They do not. They would love another shot with you. Okay, so the outcome, and we're going to clarify this, is the sun. So there could be a potential for a new beginning here. Um, you're going to, I feel like you're the one that's going to have to make the decision on who you want to be with. So you may have to shed some light on here, especially if they come back and want to have a conversation with you on, you know, who you're going to choose or, or that kind of thing, right? So a lot of realizations happening, um, some new beginnings happening. So let's see where this is going, because this is one of the happier cards in the tarot deck, right? The sun card. A lot of light shed on this situation. So let's see. Maybe they're realizing a lot of things. Maybe they're waking up. Do you know what I'm saying? This is for Cancer's future love. What is going on here? This is for Cancer's future love. Please clarify the sun card. Ooh, look at that. Two of cups again. I'll pull some more. So maybe, maybe um, they're coming back and it, it's going to, it's, it's going to happen here. But the choice is going to be yours on, on who you decide to ultimately be with. And we have the emperor here. So I feel like, especially with letting go of control, this person's trying to narrate the situation. Maybe they're trying to, you know, kind of uh, force a decision or, or something of that nature. Emperor card, that is Aries energy. So they may get control back of themselves, of their lives. Maybe you're the one that's going to have to take control and make a hard decision here, Cancer, okay? So let's see what else we can find out. But I see three people, and it is becoming two people here. One more card, one more card. For cancer one more card for cancer yeah and then we have who I see big decisions being made here you see that justice card things are going to be balanced out and I think cancer the queen of wands and I feel like you're going to step back into your power and to be able to make this decisions and you are going to be able to go after the individual that you want with this Queen of Wands energy. This is fire. But this is most definitely third party. You're going to have to make a decision. You're going to have to cut somebody off. Okay? Whichever way, right? We got love offers, love communication. We got higher levels of commitment here with this Taurus energy. So, yeah. I think, I think this is all about... You, Cancer, and what you want. The individual, the individual that is trying to call you back in may have to accept the fact that you're choosing someone else, okay? Um, 
But, you know, it's going to be entirely up to you who you choose in this scenario. So, it's going to be entirely up to you. I feel like you're going to, with this Queen of Wands energy, you're going to step in your power and you are going to make that choice. You're going to make that decision here. Now, this could even be legal separation, divorce, that kind of thing, you know. But you are going to um, step into your power. You're going to take control of the situation. And you're going to make a solid choice here. What is best for you? What is going to bring you happiness here, right? So three are becoming two. Do you see that? Three are becoming two. And it's going to be a better situation here because of the sun card. But it's like everybody's waking up. Everybody's making some realizations here. So three becoming two here, Cancer. So that's very good. Whew, that's a complicated little read there. Complicated, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so whoever this resonates with, and like I said, it's not going to resonate with everybody because every cancer is not in a third-party situation, but this is most definitely a third-party situation right here. All right, so decisions, decisions, Cancer. What is going to happen here? That is your July 2019 Future Love Reading. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope it shed some light on the situation for you. Um, like I said earlier, you can now find me on Twitter and Instagram at Secretarial1111. And I am working on a Facebook page as well. And I will let you all know when that is up and running. Next week, I will be um, working on the... August 2019 monthly readings, the big ones, so stay tuned for that. And then, of course, the schedule for your weekly readings you can find in the description box and I, also in my About section. Um, your readings are usually on Thursday. You can find the live schedule there, and I'm usually live every day but Saturday um, around noon Eastern Standard Time. So, Cancer, you guys have... A great week and take very good care of yourself, okay? God bless.